lot of people are expecting some crazy story of how that photo happened. He was in the wedding, um, he had his little bow tie, and he stood or sat beside Jace for most of the, the ceremony. That moment was just during the opening prayer, and he got up and kind of laid down in front of us and then just decided to roll around. And our photographer and our close friend, uh, Chris Davis, got that great picture of that moment. And that was one picture that he happened to come across in about 2,000 pictures or something he said yeah. he took. So he sent it to us pretty late. It was about one in the morning after the wedding. We couldn't stop laughing at it. I couldn't fall asleep because I kept thinking about it and just laughing out loud. I think what you don't get from the picture is that almost 100% of the time, this is how he acts. <laughs> like, he literally, he just sits and hangs out. He's not really high energy or high strung unless, unless you're playing fetch or with a ball or frisbee, but he's normally super chill. And that photo kind of makes him look like he's a baring his teeth wild animal. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I mean, this is, this is Boone in his natural <laughs> habitat right now. He'll just sit on the couch with you. Boone was there to stand next to me as my witness. We grew up in a small town. Um, we were really good friends early on. I think we were like first grade boyfriends and girlfriends, right? Yeah. We reconnected at my friend's wedding and then I got her to come visit Montana. And I had Boone already at that point. So I think she came and visited and stayed hung out with me and Boone and really stuck around for my dog. <laughs> in the first grade, I, I actually saved up some very little amount of money and I got a gold necklace that said Angela on it. And somehow she has never lost it and she wore it to the wedding. 